Hey, Pokey dudes. I'm Pokey Dudettes. I want to shorten the intro a bit. That's why I've had to skip out on the Pokey Dudettes bit. But you know, it's an old habit, and that old habit to die hard. Like. Bruce Lee. There we go. So, um. I've got used to this place now. There's a lot of. Need a nice little bit of paint in here. So. From this bit onwards. There are going to be videos, yes. But I also want to sort out. I want to know what you guys think on a, another channel where I do parodies and stuff. If I should keep it on this channel because it's much easier on everyone, including me. Or should I put it on a separate channel so it's easier for people just to go, right, he's done a crap ton of uploads and he's done a music. Yay. It's pretty much a choice for you guys. I'm asking if you would like that for the parodies or should I keep them here? And I'm not sure I'm it. So, that's your choice. Uh, also, today, um, Pokemon Fire Red came out. It's like it's birthday, something. Happy birthday to buy Red Leaf Green. My favorite freaking games in the entire world. So, I'm here with my channel's mascot, by the way. Mewtwo. Why did I choose Mewtwo to be my channel mascot and not Pikachu? Pikachu's already a mascot. Mewtwo. I absolutely freaking love Mewtwo. Shall I tell you about my why I like Mewtwo? And why he's the mascot of this channel? Considering I haven't used him in any gameplay yet? I'll tell you, because I can. It was it happened a long time ago. I was about free uh, traveling the world of Johto. Kanto, Kanto. I have just I I've completed the uh, championship like everyone else does, but uh, I didn't have much friends back then. I was only a kid, and uh, I was, and the new generation came out like last year, and I still haven't got it. So I was wandering around trying to complete this Pokedex. I was on four hundred and forty-nine. All I was missing was a ditto, I believe, which I thought I could catch in Mysterious Aframanke. So I thought, you know, travel around Cerulean City for a bit, and all of a sudden the Afro guy's gone. I'm like, wait, there wasn't an Afro, that was a door. Where does that door lead? And why wasn't I allowed in there in the first place? So I travelled through, wondering what I missed. With a lot of HMs being... With a lot of HMs being used, and and then I came across this fellow straight after I caught my ditto. I stared at my game system, thinking, I thought I caught them all, but did I? So I stared at the Pokemon, and he stared right back through a pixelated 8-bit screen. I stared at my Game Boy, and he stared straight through. I had saved a Master Ball, just in case I had, I could catch this Mew I was hearing about, but I would never hear, I never heard of a Mewtwo. So I stared at the screen as I entered battle with this human created Pokemon, as it stares at me with those evil pixely eyes, and its black and white pixels. Why is there so many pixels? Pixel tie. So we, so we engage in battle. I sent out Charizard, my start of the journey. 
And my favourite Pokemon from that point, from that point, from the beginning, because, you know, everyone's favourite was Charizard. And I thought dragons were freaking epic. I still do. I didn't have a Dragonite in my team, though. I had Charizard, because who needs a dragon type in the first gen? <laughs> so I stare at Mewtwo. And I go into the up, the bag option, select the Master Ball, throw it, and I uh, managed to catch Mewtwo with no try, and then I exited the cave with my newly caught Mewtwo in the box. So I went, oh, I'm going to go get him, and I went to the box, I'm going to get him, and it was double 70. So I thought, hmm, let's go to the Pokemon Championship stuff. So I did, went through that, and completed it again just using Mewtwo. Which was really helpful. I really enjoyed it. It was like, wow, this guy is awesome. I really love this guy. So I sort of transfer. I sort of went through Pokemon uh, um, Gold and Silver. When that really, really got that, I had friend that time. So I asked if I could transfer my Mewtwo straight through. So I got Mewtwo at the beginning, but I couldn't use him because I did because I was an idiot and forgot that trading wouldn't work properly with the higher level poke. So I went through Park and Gold and Soul Silver with Mewtwo by my side at least. And then I find him again. Was he in the cave again? No. No. I find well anyway. I travel through, I go through the league with Mewtwo again. And then came Ho in, and I couldn't use Mewtwo, so I was a bit disappointed that I couldn't use the original Mewtwo. But then Fire Red Leaf Green came out, and I did exactly the same thing as I did before. But after I completed the league, I went straight for Mewtwo. Straight for Mewtwo. So, this guy has been grabbing my love since the first generation. I'm only 16. Don't judge. Uh, yes, I still have plushies, don't judge. And then, a couple of years later, still loving Mewtwo, watching his movie all over, keep back and forth, on repeat, kind of, and Mewtwo Returns, and I heard about the Genesec movie, I was like, oh cool, and like, Mewtwo's back, and whoa, that's, what's that form? That is a form, and it's changed, that is not, that what? Mewtwo has changed. How could have that been? SHUT THE TRUCK UP! Mewtwo changed. What could have been that? And then Pokemon X and Y came out. I find Mewtwo in the Unknown Cave. Just doffs a Pokemon Valley. Straight off to complete the Pokemon League again. How come every time I have to complete the freaking Pokemon League just to catch this guy? Poor buddy. And underneath him, after catching him in another Master Ball, because that's all I catch him in apparently, was a Mega Stone. Mewtwo Knight Y. That's a moment on, I found his form. And apparently he had another form as well, but... Pfft, tell me, who uses that one? Mewtwo's a special attacker, not an attacker. Isn't that right, buddy? He's a doll. He's not even a doll, he's a plushie. He's a fucking plushie. But he's my favourite plushie. Sorry, Pikachu, sorry, Mario. I'm really sorry for throwing you in that sm all about that Smash episode. So, through many years, I've always loved this little buddy. And he has always been a part of my team. Apart from competitively. Or other regional teams. I made regional teams. Well, this guy has been a part of my main team along with Pikachu, Lapras, Charizard, Venusaur, and Blastoise. We've always been working together. Um, he helped me even get a streak of 500, and then I lost. Yay. So, Mewtwo has always been a part of my team. He has been a part of the Pokédudes since the Pokédudes even started, back in 2010 in October. Me and Silver. I started using Mewtwo before the Pokédudes even existed. That's how cool he is. Silver didn't even have a Pokemon game until after the Pokédudes started, so HA! He got Silver before I did. 
He got Pokemon Gold and Silver, so that's that. So that's the story of how me and Mewtwo came... Oh, I also used him in Melee, because... Fuck yeah. Why would I not use this guy in Melee? And the fact that he's coming back in this one in, as DLC? Heck yeah, I've got him. So, here's the story of Mute, me and Mewtwo. I hope you Pokédudes... And Pokédudettes enjoyed it. I'm gonna stop saying Pokédudes and Pokédudettes. It's just Pokédudes. Actually, Pokédudettes... Dudettes are sort of like miniature dudes. Not... So, hello, but goodbye, Pokey Dudettes. No, because that sounds feminine. I'll just say goodbye to you all. Goodbye, Pokey Dudes and Pokey Dudettes.